Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Thursday, August 26th, 2010. Well, folks, the markets gapped higher today only to reverse and are actually selling a little bit on the downside here just over the last 30 minutes. We went into a major consolidation mode ever since we dumped to really the flat line on the markets right around that 11 o'clock time frame. And once we did that, folks, the markets just went to sleep, sideways trading, a little bit up, a little bit down here. And then all of a sudden, really, as of 2 o'clock, a little bit before 2 o'clock, the markets did start to sell a little bit more sharply to the downside. Now, what's the cause here? What's going on today? What's the driving force between this movement in the markets? Bottom line is this, folks. We got some jobless claims numbers this morning, which helped the markets start on the right foot to the upside. Those jobless claims numbers came in at 473,000. That's after yesterday, or make that last week, we got a jobless claims number of 500,000. 500,000 is a psychologically major level. And again, you didn't want to see a number this week above 500,000. 500,000, having that 5 in front of the number was bad enough. This week, again, it was a better number at 475, but still not good. I mean, you're not seeing any signs of the ability for this economy to add jobs. Yeah, maybe it's negating, maybe it's equaling about the amount. In fact, I don't even think it's doing that. But you're not seeing any change. And when you have unemployment rates near 10% and real unemployment rates of about 20%, that's a problem. That shows no growth, no recovery in an economy, and now that government stimulus is over, guess what, folks? We could be into another major, major double-dip recession here, which it looks like we are in as of now. Now, a couple other things to go over. Obviously, you see the market gapping higher today, a little bit of a pullback into gap fill, then a bounce right back to the highs. 200 moving average intraday, sloping lower. That's keeping pressure on the markets. You had this green trend line as well. You never even got close to that. All day long, I have to say, the market was very, very weak. Very weak all day long. You know, even on those good jobless claims numbers, you saw the dollar down early in the day, and we'll talk about the dollar shortly, but the dollar was down. Usually the markets are up when the dollar's down. The market really couldn't get a strong bid all day. And what you have to remember, and this is going to be the key thing that I say in this video of what you're to expect, the markets are at this point looking forward to the Ben Bernanke speech tomorrow. Now, what's going on with the Fed? I mean, when you talk about the Fed, and I'll flip around here, we can go to the 60-minute chart. You can see you had a nice move up yesterday. By the way, folks, what did I do this morning? On the first initial up move in the day, I unloaded my USO, sold the USO right up here at 32.90, nailed the high within two cents, and again, that's after buying at 31.88. So over a dollar gain in two days on that. That was a live hot charts and alerts put out as a buy a couple days ago on the USO, knowing that it would bounce. We got a beautiful dollar and two cents bounce out of it and again I unloaded it today gave the alert out and by the way for those of you that don't know about the research center the research center is at in the money stocks.com and covers everything underneath the research center there listed you get live alerts literally when I do a trade I put it out as a swing trade on that buy or sell I tell you what price and so forth to give everyone a heads up plus we have text and email alerts so awesome stuff in that research center $49.99 a month and just think about what you would have made on making just over the last two days a dollar on the USO just that one trade alone. We have other trades out there that are in the money right now and doing very well as well. So again, a no-brainer there. Even buying 100 shares of the USO, you just made two uh, two times the research center for one month, and that's buying 100 shares. I mean, who really does that, frankly? Well, probably in the range of buying 500 shares or 1,000 shares, making a nice chunk of change. In any case, folks, the market, again, you can see the USO coming in. That was a great sell this morning, nailed the top, basically, on the oil trade. But going back to what was going on here, what are we looking forward to? The speech tomorrow by Ben Bernanke. The Federal Reserve seems to be in turmoil. The market doesn't like that. What do I mean by turmoil? You have a lot of dissension. They talked about easing in the last meeting and in the last Fed minutes, and you saw a lot of people in that Federal Reserve saying, no, we don't want to do this. We don't want quantitative easing. We don't want to you know, essentially create more free money in the system. We don't think that's the way, yet they still are doing it. But the fact that there's dissension in there makes it very tough. Plus, the fact is, the Federal Reserve chairman came out, and the minutes showed over the last meeting that they basically see the market very uncertain and the economy very uncertain, not a good outlook for the economy. So tomorrow is this huge speech by Ben Bernanke. Every Everyone in the market is putting their their eyes on that on that announcement or that speech as being the keys to what the market's going to do. The market is very jittery into this, as you can see. In fact, it's rolling over here, rolling down all the way. You'll have a lot of good support coming down right into this level at the approximate 105 level. 105 will be a big level. If you get there, you probably can buy it for a little scout bounce intraday. But bottom line is that meeting tomorrow is everything. 
All right, that's what the market's looking forward to. That's why the market can't hold the gains because it's afraid. The market wants quantitative easing. It wants free money. It wants more stimulus in the short term. In the short term, that's like a fix. It's like a drug addict needing a fix. In the long term, it just screws you over even more, makes you addicted and so forth. But in the short run, that would be a positive for this market to get it up. And again, in the long run, it's very, very negative. But in any case, the question will be is what does he say tomorrow? Does he give us any insight into what he thinks about the economy? Does he know any better than anyone else? I don't think so, frankly. But well, the point is the market thinks he does. So they're going to listen to him. And every trader out there on Wall Street thinks as well that he does. So in any case, folks, the market's again slowly floating down here. Believe it or not, you had a little in spirit of bear flag. Let's talk some technicals here. Bear flag pattern. Please note this. Downward move, sideways consolidation, bear flag, and it's playing out to the downside. Really, the target would be somewhere down here. There's not a lot of volume. 133 million traded today as we approach the 230 time frame, and that is what we're seeing. All right? So we'll see exactly what's going on here, folks. Again, Spiders getting a small bounce at this point. And we'll see Goldman Sachs. Let's take a look at Goldman. Goldman down about $2.10. You can see Goldman's very weak today, folks. There are a lot of the other financials that are hanging in there. Um, but uh, Goldman, very, very weak. J.P. Morgan weak as well. As you can see, has reversed to the downside, down $0.32. Cents, and we'll continue to watch and monitor that. All right? Uh, anything else I want to discuss here? I think that's it for right now. Let me just go over that we talked about oil. Oh, the dollar. Yeah, let's talk about the dollar. The dollar had a big whip today. Initially, it flushed out, gapped lower, flushed out, then had a big reversal, and since then, it's just going into a sideways motion. But nonetheless, pretty impressive little move down and move up reversal intraday. Uh, we've seen some comments coming out a little, little here and there, but again, everyone's just focusing on that longer term outlook of when the Federal Reserve Chairman tomorrow does give his speech. Remember, folks, that will happen tomorrow, and that will be the big event of the day. And then I suspect that tomorrow afternoon will kind of slow down into the point where it's the weekend. It's just before the weekend, before the holiday weekend, which is the following one, and that will be key. All right, folks, as of now, that's all. Come join the Research Center. Get your money's worth. I mean, that's the point, folks. Make some money. That's what I'm going to be doing this the rest of the day and tomorrow and the rest of the year, making good money as we continue to give the precise calls in and around Wall Street. No one else beats us like nobody beats the Wiz, right? <laughs> Talk to you soon, folks. Take care.